Hello friends and welcome to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Chris aka the IT guy. Today I'm going to show you how to install a SCARA on Windows 10 and you will be able also to set up the SBT on Windows 10. Without further ado, let's go ahead and see how you can do this one. First of all, you have to open your favorite browser, in this case I'm using Chrome. And after uh, having this Chrome, we need to install the GDK as the GDK is now the requirement for the SCARA to work. Uh, before we proceed to the installation in context, I'm going to check for the GDK installation. Open the run like this one, go ahead and type CMD and type like Java hyphen hyphen version. Uh, I'll write a typo here. And if it's returned that Java is not recognized as an internal or external command, it means that you will need to install uh, Java on your system. And to do that, you're going to go ahead and in our Chrome browser and type Java GDK, press enter. The first link that will come will be from oracle.com and we will go ahead and choose this one and open a new tab. And once this is now opened, We'll go ahead and see all the releases that are available and the versions may vary accordingly so if you are seeing different version from mine don't get overwhelmed the versions may vary at any time go on the windows tab and after going on the windows tab you can go ahead and choose the installer that you need for example if you have the 64-bit uh, system we will go ahead and choose it from this if you want to download the archived one or the compressed one you can go ahead and choose from here but in this case i'm going to choose this one and after choosing that one to start downloading and i will go ahead and press on start download and the download will take like a short time uh, depending upon your network and your computer speed so we'll have to wait for this one to be done great once this is complete go ahead and press open and minimize your browser so as to have a clean workspace like this one beautiful and you have to wait for the setup to start so let's wait and it will start like this so go ahead and press next and when you reach here you will be prompted to choose the installation folder in this case it will be in c program files java gdk and hyphen 17.0.2 and this is the current version for the time of making this video and for avoiding any further errors or any warnings or any misconfiguration i'm going to leave the folder as it is and i'm going to go ahead and press next and the instruction will begin all right and once this is complete you're going to go ahead and close this we no longer need this one and after doing that i want you to follow me along so to see on what i'm going to do on here go and open your fire explorer and once you are in here you can go ahead and right click on here and go to properties and once you are in properties you can go ahead and click on advanced system settings and after going on there you can go ahead and um, close this and we come back to this pc location and i will go on local disk c i will choose the uh, with program files and i will choose java and i will choose this folder on where i installed the java gdk i will choose bin and i will go up on here and double click i will copy this path as it is and i will click on environment variables and i will go where it is written a path uh, I think it's a path here and go on edit and after doing this you can go ahead and uh, uh, create a new one and paste this on here and press ok and you can also make the a variable uh, from here you can go ahead and click, uh, click on new and, and call this java underscore home and you, will, you copy the exact path but you will have to remove the bin and you will ha have to go up to this folder and after doing that you can go ahead and press on ok and ok again and ok for here and you can go ahead and close this so we are now ready to test if the gdk is now uh, successfully configured on our computer so we go in the LAN and type cmd like uh, we did before and type java hyphen hyphen version to check if now it is successful and once it is determined that the java version is now this is the current version that we installed we can go ahead and check for the compiler tool like uh, this you type java c and type version and once uh, it determines this you will know that you are successfully installed now the java all right 
So after doing that, we, are, we have to come back on the Chrome and search for this color like this and press enter. And after doing that, you can go on the first link that will come from such a resort. And uh, I will go ahead and click on here. And it will redirect me to the Scala uh, web page. And what I'm going to do is now to go and click on download. And it will, it will bring me many things here. And the first thing that we have to see that, that we have to choose bef between Scala 3 and Scala 2. So I'm going to choose the new version from here and it will come in two types there is the one for Carcia and for the sbt and for this video i'm going to to choose this and i'm going to click on it to download it and i hope it will start downloading and on the windows there will be these releases i'm going to choose this the first lower the first one which is now the 1.6.1 and we have, of course, to start download. It is not that heavy. And as I'm talking, it is about to be complete. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize my browser again so as to have a clean workspace like we have before. All right, cool. So go ahead and click open to open the setup that we've downloaded. And to restart like this one, so go ahead and click on next. And accept the terms in the recent agreement, press next. And here now is where it will be uh, installed, it will be on C program files, uh, 32 bits, uh, this is the x86, that's what it means. And once you are now seeing this, uh, after memorizing this path, you can go ahead and press on next and install. And you have to wait for a couple of seconds for this to be complete. And once this is now complete, go ahead and click on finish, uh, go ahead and open your uh, this PC location again and repeat the same for going to the environment variables so I'm going to properties advance the system settings go to environment variables and close this so we are going to come back and see where we installed our SBT and it will be on here and where is this guy here it is and once I'm in here I'm going to choose the bin and I'm going to copy this path and after copy, copying this path, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go on the path here. Go on uh, and, uh, on edit. Sorry, edit. And I will go on new. And I will go ahead and paste this and press OK. And OK again. And OK again. All right, cool. So after doing that, we are going to go ahead and open the CMD. And after opening the CMD, I'm going to create, for example, let me create the folder and I'm going to call this Ascara uh, project, underscore project, for, for example, like this one. And press enter. I um, can change directly to a uh, Scala project that I pre created, like this. So, inside this project, I'm going to name, for example, let me do another folder which is called Plog. Uh, plug one which is enough for project one so i'm going to go ahead and type cd plug one and inside here i'm going to learn the sbt command to see if it will work so once i press enter it will now ask me uh if i want to to keep in the current directory so i'm going to type c to continue and press enter and it will start now to I download the required files as it will be started for the first time. Alright, and once this is now complete, you can see that now we are in, which means that this the install was successful. And this is simply how you can install Scara and set up the SBT on Windows 10. Let me know guys in the comment if you met with any error or any problem. I will be right here to help you like always. And let me know if you enjoyed this video, show it by clicking the like button. And if you are coming on this channel for the first time, and you want some other videos like this one make sure you subscribe and turn on the bell icon to get a notification while i up upload the video and from now till next time i will see you guys in the next one peace out